Hello, my name is Erica, and today I'm reading Chicken Meadow. Once upon a time, there was a sweet hen named Chicken Little. She lived on a shady lane in a quiet kingdom, close to all of her friends. One day, as Chicken Little walked past a big oak tree, a strong gust of wind rustled the branches. An acorn was blown loose, and it fell right on Chicken Little's head. It gave her quite a scare. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Squawked Chicken Little. I must tell the king. He'll know what to do. And so Chicken Little ran down the lane toward the king's castle. Along the way, Chicken Little met her friend Henny Penny. Hello, Chicken Little," said Henny Penny. "Why are you in such a hurry? The sky is falling." I'm going to tell the king," Chicken Little replied. "Could the sky really fall?" Henny Penny wasn't so sure about this. "How do you know the sky is falling?" asked Henny Penny. "I felt a piece of it plop me on the head," said Chicken Little. "That's terrible!" Henny Penny clucked. "You're right. We must tell the king." Chicken Little and Henny Penny hurried down the lane. And soon saw Turkey Lurkey. Slow down," said Turkey Lurkey. "Where are you dashing off to?" "The sky is falling," Henny Penny said. "Chicken Little told me. I felt it fall on my head," cried Chicken Little. "And I heard it with my own ears." Turkey Lurkey thought this was just terrible, and so he joined Chicken Little and Henny Penny on their quest to tell the king. The trio ran down the road as fast as they could, and soon came upon Goosey Lucy. "What's the matter?" Goosey Lucy asked the anxious birds. "The sky is falling," Turkey Lurkey gobbled. "Henny Penny told me. I heard it from Chicken Little," said Henny Penny. "I felt it fall on my head," Chicken Little said. "I heard it with my own ears and saw it with my own eyes." Golly! I always knew the sky would fall one day," said Goosey Lucy. "We're off to tell the king," said Chicken Little. "No time to chat. Let's go," Turkey Lurkey added. And so Goosey Lucy joined the group, honking loudly as she ran. Just then, Foxy Loxy stepped onto the road. "Little birdies, where are you in such a rush? Whatever is the matter?" Cried Foxy Loxy, "We're going to see the king." The sky is falling," Goosey Lucy announced. "How do you know the sky is falling?" Foxy Loxy asked. "Why, Turkey Lurkey told me," Goosey Lucy replied. "He heard it from Henny Penny, who heard it from Chicken Little, and Chicken Little heard it with her own ears and saw it with her own eyes." Foxy Loxy looked up at the sky. It looked just like it always did, and certainly did seem to be falling. Besides, he could always take shelter in his den if it did start to crumble. Sure that the sky was not falling, the sneaky fox decided to lure the birds to his den so he could eat them. Follow me, friends. I will show you the way to a secret shortcut. It leads right into the castle courtyard, so you'll soon be able to warn the king," cried Foxy Loxy. And so the birds ran after Foxy Loxy, who led them to his den. Step through here. Don't be afraid of the dark. Just follow the tunnel, and you'll soon pop out the other end, right in the castle courtyard," said Foxy Loxy. Chicken Little and the birds looked at each other nervously. They had to warn the king, but could they really trust Foxy Loxy? Just then, the birds and the fox heard loud barking. The king's hounds were running across the field. The dogs were coming straight at them. As the birds squawked and flapped their wings, Foxy Loxy bounded across the field. Tricking the birds wasn't worth being caught by king's hounds. The hound sniffed the entrance of the fox's den. Then they sniffed Chicken Little and all her friends. "What are you doing here?" asked one of the hounds. "Please take us to see the king. 
We must tell him that the sky is falling, Chicken Little pleaded. The hounds had never heard of a sky falling. However, the king was a very smart man, so the hounds were sure he would know what to do. The hounds led the fine feathered friends back to the castle. The birds were brought before the king, who was curious to know why they had traveled so far. Hello, Chicken Little, said the king. I've heard that you've traveled a great distance to see me. Oh, your majesty, we've come to warn you that the sky is falling, cried Chicken Little. How do you know the sky is falling? asked the king. I felt it fall on my head. I heard it with my own ears and saw it with my own eyes, Chicken Little exclaimed. Where were you when this happened? the king asked. I was walking past a big oak tree, Chicken Little replied. Then it got really windy, and a piece of sky fell on my head. And did any other pieces of sky fall on you as you traveled here? No, Chicken Little replied. What about you? the king asked Henny Penny. Do you feel, see, or hear the sky fall? No, your majesty. I heard it from Chicken Little. And what about you? the king asked the other birds. I heard it from Turkey Lurkey, said Goosey Lucy. And I heard it from Henny Penny, said Turkey Lurkey. Well, said the king, it seems to me that the sky is not falling. In fact, there is a very simple explanation, said the king. The kings twittered excitedly. They knew the king would figure out what was going on. It wasn't a piece of sky that fell on your head, said the king. It was merely an acorn. The birds couldn't believe it. Was all the panic really caused by a single acorn? They asked the king how he figured it out, because Chicken Little was standing under an oak tree on a windy day, the king replied. Birds all laughed. They were so happy that the sky wasn't falling. Before the birds went back home, the king gave Chicken Little an umbrella. From that day forward, she always carried the umbrella while she walked about. And if an acorn fell, Chicken Little didn't mind one bit. The end.